Hi, we are the Sun Street chapter of Roots and Shoots. We wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about Brazilian pepper trees and how they're invasive of trees is and how they're are, are harming Florida's is ecosystem. Brazilian pepper trees are native to South America. Uh, they are they were introduced into America in the 18 hundreds because people looked thought they looked lush. This is a Brazilian pepper tree. Brazilian pepper trees can grow 15 to 30 feet tall. As you can see, they have red berries or peppercorns. You can identify them also by their leaves. They have an odd number, either seven or nine leaves on each stem. They bloom in the winter. Brazilian pepper trees like warm weather. They are super aggressive and crowd out other valuable nature trees and shrubs. One way that they take over is through the spreading of their seeds. Their seeds are spread by birds, raccoons, and possums. So what's the big deal? Why are Brazilian pepper trees so bad? For one thing, people should avoid touching them because they are a relative of poison ivy and some people have allergic skin reactions when touching the tree. Also, we've already said that they crowd out the native species. This hurts the natural environment. The trees prevent light necessary for the bottom forest growth. Brazilian pepper trees damage mangroves, which causes a big problem in the Everglades and even here near the Indian River Lagoon. It eventually even kills animals by changing the ecosystem and the food web. Brazilian trees have spread over 700,000 acres in Florida. It costs a lot of money to get rid of these pepper trees and even more money to fix the damages they cause. So what can be done about the problem? First, becoming aware of the problem is important and sharing your knowledge with others like we are. Second, get rid of any Brazilian pepper trees on your own property. How can you take out a Brazilian pepper tree? First, it is best to get rid of them when they are a young tree and not bit too big to manage like this one. Second, cut, cut when it is not in bloom Third, wrap a sheet around the tree so that the berries do not reproduce when you cut the tree down. Fourth, saw the base of the tree. Last, within five minutes, spray the, approval, the approved chemicals. It is best to have the chemicals ready to go before chopping the tree down. Thanks for listening. We hope you learned a little something about these nuisance trees. And that will do your part to keep them from spreading. From all of us at Roots and Sheets. Nick! Nick!